I am so hungry right now, so I have to get this vlog out because I am starving. I forgot to take out the chicken, so there's really nothing for me to eat right now. I'm so hungry. Oh, that's beside the point. That's beside the point. What's going on today? So today I thought I'd talk to you guys about something. Hmm. It hasn't happened recently, but it's kind of a feeling I get from a lot of people. Now, you guys know I don't have the best job. I've talked about it in so many of my vlogs. And I am still looking for a job that best fits me. Now, what happened a while ago was almost two years ago. Uh, yeah, almost almost two years. Was it two years? Ago? Yeah, almost two years ago, I had a job that I enjoyed doing for the most part. And mostly because I worked with people that I did like to work with. But it was like being in a prison. And when I did um, leave that job, whether they say it was because of them or it was because of me, I don't know what they want to say, really. Because <laughs> there's a confusing, um, um, I don't know, I guess it's a confusing um, recollection of it. Uh, like, they don't know what, they don't really know why. Uh, but when I left, it just felt like this really big weight was lifted off my shoulders. And I didn't have a job for almost eight months. And if you've never had a job and you've had one most of your life, you'll find it really hard to come to terms with not having a job. But during those eight months, I found out that there are so many things that I don't want to spend my life, you know, doing anymore. I don't want to waste my time being that type of person. I wish that I could take a job only for the money. But sadly, when you spend enough time hearing your own thoughts, you start thinking about what you want out of life, who you want to spend that life with. And how much you think it's worth when doing certain things. And I know a lot of people, oh, make a lot of money that makes your life happier. I don't think so. I've never really thought that. I still won't think that. And so even now, like I said, I don't have the best job. But people are always trying to tell me what they think is probably the best option for me. And I always wonder if they would do those same things. Like if they would, because people tell me something they don't like their job. I'm like, well, don't work there. Quit. But then they say money. They say, oh, I got to have this. I got to have that. You don't have to have it. You don't have to have. You don't have to have a lot of things in life, but you want those things, so you suffer through situations that you don't want to be in. I have learned to avoid those situations that make me uncomfortable, that make me not want to be there. I feel like I'm so much nicer and more pleasant when I am working somewhere where I enjoy the atmosphere, and that's what, still what I'm trying to achieve by getting a good, great job. There's going to be a career. I don't want to keep searching for a job. That's what people don't understand. I don't want to search for a job every. Uh, time I get unhappy. I want to find a job that makes me the most happy where I get up every day and I'm thinking oh, I can't wait to get there and when I leave I'm like oh tomorrow's gonna be a good day this was a good day and everything so that's the vlog for today I just want to speak on that really quick I want everyone to decide what they want out of life and go for that and don't try and tell other people what they think they should have in this life I remember a point in my life where I thought that you had to go to college that you had to have these degrees that you had to have this and that and you had to have all this knowledge and education to get by in life. And you know what I found out after getting all that knowledge and that education is that no one cares. They don't even care. Like, I will apply for jobs to be a receptionist. Uh, receptionist, I can't talk today. I apply for a job where I'm just being a receptionist. I'm answering calls, forwarding them. And they'll be like, we're sorry, but we've decided to go with a different person. I'm like... <laughs> And I almost say to myself, you know, it's better to hear somebody say, we feel like you don't need to be here because we feel like you're so much more qualified to do something. But a lot of times it's just because they've already decided who they want in the position. A lot of jobs of people, if you people don't know, some jobs at certain organizations, they post them because they have to post them. It's a thing. Um, HR makes po people post jobs. They have no intention of going with someone outside. They've already picked the person, but they have to post it. I work at a museum right now where I have applied for several jobs at that museum where I've seen the people who are doing the hiring. They don't say anything. They don't they don't even mention, you know, the application because they're not looking at them and they've already decided who they want to get, who they want to put in the position. They don't even send the rejection letter. I feel like that's a really crappy anybody who has a company where people apply for your jobs and you don't at least send them a rejection letter, I feel like that's a really crappy job. I wouldn't want to work there anyway. Because I feel like anybody who takes their time and their effort to put in a resume, a cover letter, you know, tell them about this, I think at least you could do is read it and say, you're not the best fit. Here's, you know, to let people know. They don't do that. So this vlog has became very long, but I just want to speak on that on Tuesday. I am still trying to do everything great with my life. And I'm wearing a shirt that says, I wish 
you wear beer. I don't really drink beer. I really drink a lot of alcohol at all. And I realized that this weekend, I just don't really like alcohol that much. Unless it's like juice. So, that's the vlog for today. I hope you are having a wonderful Tuesday. I hope your week continues to be great. I will talk to you tomorrow, and we will talk more about my life. And if you want, leave a comment. I'll tell you about your life. I'll speak on it. I will give you some advice. Um, not real advice. Don't take it to heart. But I would love to hear your story. So, just leave a comment about I'm going to turn the camera off because I've talked too long.